Hey guys, I am so excited to do this video because it is the first of the first impressions. We all can kind of see it together and um, there's no denying that the camera obviously makes things look better, but my opinions will always be very honest and whether I buy it myself or get it from a PR agency, from a brand, uh, for me, I'm just, I'm always honest with you guys. Okay, so let's start. I'm gonna go ahead and put like foundation on. The only thing I'm not testing out today is eyebrows because I don't like to really stick to like, or I don't like to try new things out for eyebrows. Hold on. Louie. Okay. So I don't really like to try new things for my eyebrows. I really like to kind of stick with what I like and what I know and um, I'm very particular how I do it. So if you want a separate video on eyebrows, I'm all game for that. Cause Primer wise, I don't really have too many primers I'm looking at my stuff. I have this one from YSL and it's the Touche Claw Blurring Powder. This is new to me. And then I got this little thing from Charlotte Tilbury and it's the Instant Soft Focus. So I'm just gonna use these two as my primer. I wanna see what kind of texture this is. <gasps> oh shit, it's just, oh my God. So I'm just gonna shake it because it's so watery. Maybe the oil separated. It's very similar to um, the Laura Mercier Radiance Primer. Like really similar, even like the color and everything. Really for me, the primer I need is around my mouth because that's the first place my foundation wipes off. Same with my nose. Okay. Everything absorbed really fast. It, it's just soft. It doesn't feel like there's really anything on my face. Yeah, it's just soft. And then I'm gonna go in with this Touche Clot and then just really work the pores to even out the pores. I'm just gonna use this mirror, it's much better and cuter. And I wanna work on my chin. Like I said, that's usually the first place makeup disappears. And my smile lines drive me nuts. I think it's like almost to the point where I don't even want to put foundation on near my smile lines because it does that. Alright, and I'm going to go under the eye and see if this helps the under eye with all the like creasing and stuff. This I really like. I like this a lot. The Charlotte Tilbury one, I, I don't like it. It's, it's like giving me like the 90s vibe and I love a glowy look, but this isn't like glowy. I just feel like there's like little tiny like eyeshadow that like fell all over my face. That's what it looks like to me, but okay. We're gonna move on. This is new from Hourglass. Took this off. Uh, this is what it looks like and it is the Illusion. It's a hyaluronic skin tint. So I, I do love foundation that has something beneficial for my skin. So like hyaluronic acid, I'm all for this. It's basically a skin tint, it's like a CC BB cream, has SPF 15 and I got it in the shade Golden and I'm a little concerned that it might not match me because I think it has like a peachier undertone and I'm not a peachy, you know, undertone person, but let's see. I'm just gonna blend. Oh, this is very thick. Has the same consistency as the It Cosmetic. And it does not quite fit my skin tone. So let's see how it does with the Beauty Blender. Yeah, it's like too peachy for me. What do you guys think? This one smells like SPF, which is like, it only has SPF 15, but the smell is there. Wow. I feel like this is like a medium coverage. Like it's covered up my freckles. If I did like one more layer, it'd be like full coverage, I feel like. I don't know, I personally just like it when foundation doesn't look like foundation and this one looks like foundation but it's like nice. It has like a glowy glowiness to it, which you can kind of see on camera. 
Um, it is pretty medium coverage, a lot more than I thought it would be, which is super unexpected. Um, so I think if you like want to, not a foundation, but a tint, but has good coverage. I mean, this kind of reminds me literally of the CC creams that It Cosmetic has, except it's, It Cosmetic has a 50 SPF, same coverage. Um, and they both have hyaluronic acid. They both have like good things for your skin. So, um, oh yeah, not bad. I just think I need a different color. This is the color golden and I think I need a, just a little different one. I'm going to go into concealer and I got really cute concealer from Onami. I think that's how you say it. They're, I think they're like a newer brand. I believe they're sold at Revolve maybe Sephora, I forget. And what is great about them is that they are skincare oriented. So this is like good for your skin. The color I have is Fair Warm. I mean, look how bright that is. I'm not huge on concealer, um, to be very honest. I'm just getting into concealer now. And I don't like concealer because it like, just makes me look like I'm wearing concealer and I don't like that look. But I do understand that it is very brightening and I do want to look brightened under there. So if you don't love concealer, just don't use a lot of it and go more towards like this dark circle area. Concentrate there versus like up there because that's where all the fine lines are. Wow. Ooh, I kind of like that. I have freckles under my eyes too. So it's just like super annoying. I have freckles like everywhere. But, wow, I think this is, like, doing a pretty good job. Maybe I like this. God, this damn sleeve. I look very pale now, though. So, and trust me, I've tried, this is the fair, right? And I've tried the light, and the light is so dark. Like, it was darker than my skin, and it, that's why the, the fair works for me, even though I look so freaking pale now. But it's okay, because we're going to go back in and, like, bronze it up and all of that. And then I'll use this to to just blend everything together. Um, so this, I like. I'm not a huge powder person. I feel like, again, it makes me look like I'm wearing a lot of makeup and it can get really cakey. Even the Laura Mercier one that everybody swears by, I have it. It still makes me kind of look cakey, but I'm all for trying new things and making my makeup last longer. And I know like around my chin and my um, lips area, I want to really seal this in because it's the first place the foundation starts to disappear. So I have this by Givenchy and it is their Prism Libre powder. Um, I know some influencers love this, so I'm excited to try this out. And it comes with a poof. And it's like interesting, it's like different colors. It's like blue, pink, purple, green basically supposed to help even out your skin tone so instead i'm gonna just use this nice actually this is a brand new brush so i guess it belongs in the video this is from hourglass and it's the number one so i'm just gonna grab whatever is on this poof i make a weird face when i powder my smile lines because i want my smile lines to be straight is that a trick maybe it is obviously Get the under eye and the forehead because my forehead, this damn sleeve, the forehead is where I have the most. Whoa! Might as well just put it everywhere. Wow! This powder is nice. I really like this powder. It doesn't look like powder, it just kind of blurred everything made it look just like I'm wearing a very flawless foundation. Like, oh wow, I really like that powder. Weird, I don't even like powders. Okay. This is a good to go. Clean it up a little. This brush is nice too. It's not as like fluffy. I think this is a more dense brush. Um, so I could possibly use it for bronzer because it's so dense, but this brush is nice. Feels good. Okay, now that I'm all like matte, I don't like being matte. I want to like put some moisture back into my face. Let's go with a Beauty Wand Easy Highlighter. So this looks like it's going to be a liquid highlighter from Charlotte Tilbury. 
Looks like this. How do you use this? What? Has a little cushion. Oh, it's so cool. I wonder if I could focus it. Whoa. Mmm, pretty so far. It's nice. Holy moly. I wonder if you guys see that on camera. It is so blinding. It's so nice. It blends like butter. My problem with liquid foundations a lot of times is that it just doesn't blend and it looks so terrible. Like it looks cheap, but this one is not the case. It's blending quite nicely. Oh my god, and I definitely could have done a lot littler. That was a lot I used. Like too much. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Absolutely loving this. Now if I can only find the cap. Moving on. Let's go with bronzer. I have a new bronzer from It Cosmetics. It's Bye Bye Pores bronzer. So let's see if this blurs out my pores. Honestly, the packaging scares me because it looks like it's going to be very, like, orangey. Smells nice. Oh, it's not as red as I thought. Ooh. This is really nice. What the? I'm, like, really impressed. It's so soft. It's, like... It like really just blending into my face really nicely oh my gosh what the heck what's going on right now i'm so confused that was like so good what the heck i keep saying that over and over because i'm just it's so nice it's actually reminding me a mixture of Hula and the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. The formula is like butter bronzer where it's like just gliding on, like um, blending really nicely. And then the color is like Hula where it's not reddish. Now, does it blur my pores? Oh, actually, it kind of is. What the heck is going on? Like, where I'm applying this bronzer is making my skin look like baby smooth. What the heck? This is like, yes, 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 yes. I am so impressed, so shocked. I was like 100% for sure thinking I wouldn't like it. Especially with this like bronze, I was like, this is gonna be so red. But it is so not red, it is, it blends like easy. I mean, it just melted right into my skin, oh my gosh. So the butter bronzer, I I have talked about the butter bronzer before and I like the butter bronzer but the thing with that one is um, it doesn't last all day so oh my gosh I'm so happy everything is like my first impressions video or the first time I'm doing it everything is like working out pretty well. So the very exciting part of this video is in this beautiful box, it came in this box, this is by NARS and Airderm, they did a collaboration together. Um, it came really packaged all nicely, but I took all that off because I wanted to show all this. I'm not going to go through this all because it is a lot. But I wanted to show you guys, like, even the little paper, it's, like, beautiful. The packaging is beautiful. It's, like, this nice, very light blue. Air Derm is known for their, like, beautiful prints and designs. Oh, my God. So yeah, I am so excited to try this out. I'm just gonna go all over the lid with this nice brown color and just get it all over the lid. Ooh, I hope that's showing through. That's really pretty. It 
It's looking a little rose goldy in person, but I wonder what it's looking like in camera. Cool. So pretty. The colors are just blending us so nicely. I don't really have to do much. And then in this palette, I'm gonna grab this like champagne color and brighten up the eye because I feel like I look too dark. This one is not as pigmented. It's a little bit more powderier, so it's not making it huge difference, but it's still really pretty, this shade, nonetheless. All right, so kind of like a very neutral, smoky eye. And then I'm gonna use this dark purple here. Oh, it's so pretty. To start lining the eyes and just deepen. Wow, purple is so pigmented. Sheesh. I don't know, can you guys see that? Wow. It's also the thing with not having eyelash extensions is like I can like get into my eyelids for like waterline areas. This is my favorite brush ever. This is from And Other Stories. It's just like really good for my eyes because I have really small eyes. And it helps blend things just a little more precisely because if I blend with a bigger brush, the eyeshadow goes crazy. And then I just look like I had a, a punched eye. So I actually have like a few of these because I really love this. This is the only one I could find that I actually like. Like a corner. Um, I'm not really gonna wear any mascara or eyeliner because right now I'm just trying to like let my eyelashes kind of be clean and do its thing. I feel like eyeshadow is like the furthest I want to go with that. So I know it doesn't look complete, but I'm okay with that. I put like some color in my face and I've been really dying to try this. This is the color Loves Me Not and it's just this really pretty neutrally like beigey pink. So I don't know if I'm too tan for this, maybe like a more um, Fair or light skin type might be really good with this, but I don't care. Like, I really want to try this. It's very subtle on me. I don't know if you can even tell on camera if it's, like, on. Like, so subtle. I might have to do one more layer. It's so pretty, though. I feel like you can see it. Oh, yeah. Now you can totally see it. So I love that blush. But I think I'm going to like amp it up just a little bit. So I have this new palette by Urban Decay that I have not used. And it's called Back Talk. And it's pretty cool because it has a blush, four blushes, and eyeshadows. And then you have like this really weird thing is this mirror. Like it comes off and comes off. It's like annoying. But it's held on by magnet. Magnetic. So because this blush was so sheer and just like it's just for me it's so beautiful I love it and I would wear it just like this but I think if I want to like amp it up for fun I'm gonna go in with low key and this is like a corally a little corally with a little warm um, sheen to it so I think it'll be nice to just give it a little push there. My camera shut off for some reason, so I'm hoping that this is where we last ended. But the only thing I had left was my lips, so I think we're good to go. I'm going to use another NARS and Erderm collaboration palette. And this is really interesting because it's a lip balm, and then these ones are your lip powder. So you put it over the balm. Oh, the balm itself is just pretty. I don't know. Let's just go with red. I feel like red is a safe bet. I'm gonna just do like the inner. Uh, it's like purple. Damn, these are so pigmented. I literally barely touched the palette. 
crazy. This is actually really pretty. And then I'm gonna go in with this like metallic because I think that's just gonna be fun. Oh! Oh shit. Oh my god, that's so freaking pretty! I'm just adding a little bit more of that lip balm on top. Honestly, if you were gonna just buy like one thing from this entire um, collection, I would say this lip palette. This is just like amazing. The quality is good, the colors are good, and you can make so many different lip combinations. Little goes a long way, and this consistency, it's not powdery. It's like, it just melts, right? When you put it onto the gloss. And look at this color. It's just, it got so pretty. I wanna, I wanna do a little bit more. That is so pretty. Oh my God. Okay. Well, everything was pretty damn fantastic for my first, like, first impressions. I think this was super fun and I just kind of go outside of my box a little bit more from these and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I think that's like all the stuff I have for myself to try. So I really love everything I use basically except for that one primer. Everything else was fantastic um, on point. I think my favorite thing is the lip palette from NARS. That's definitely the favorite out of everything I've used but everything else was like literally on point so you can't go wrong. Um, okay, thanks for watching and I'll probably see you guys soon. So, bye!